Hey guys, Gino here today with the new Momoland track, I'm So Hot. Momoland, of course, exploded last year, really. They've been around since 2017, I believe. Oh no, 2016. 2016, I think it's 2016 they debuted. Then some members joined in 2017. Anyway, the beginning of last year, they dropped bo ba Boom Boom, uh, which just was absolutely viral. I'm not surprised. For me, it was the best uh, track at the beginning of the year. It was released very early on and everyone was just like, yeah, b b best track of 2018, maybe a little preemptively. I did really enjoy it and I I've liked a lot of their stuff since. They did BAM in June, I think. That was a good title track and I've, I've liked the projects alongside these. I didn't just like the title track. Anyway, this actually came out yesterday, but it was my last day in Paris. I'm now back in Manchester, so we're doing it today. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into this. Allons-y. Of course, have to have the record crackle. <laughs> Some squeaky synthesizer. And a jazz feel to it. It's sort of a, it's not a sample, but it's stylized like a, a famous, what song is that? I don't know the song, but it's a sample of something, but not like a direct sample. I dig that actually. That's really interwoven. Superb. Mixed in with the really flashy, flary drum beat. Especially those big, big hi hats. They sort of flash across the surface. Brilliant. Ooh. The aspect ratio there, switch out. That was so nice. That was so fun. The production on this is really brilliant. Very clean. Sort of mechanical crash there, wasn't so keen on it. Uh, the removal of the drum beat. Just got those plinky piano and the, the synth thing. Ooh. Really lovely combinations. There's some sort of a throwback with the whole vibe of the track, but it's mixed in with more modern electro pop sounds. Not like much of a bass line, it's not very intense, mainly focused on this uh, melody part, but. I really like how that's put together. This is an iconic, I can't think where it's from. Oh, I can't think where it's from. It's an iconic sort of um, riff, but it's just went so well with the production style. It had a definitely sort of a Euro pop, uh, <laughs> electro pop vibe to it, which I don't dislike, I actually think, especially with the rap portion, which was reasonably close to the beginning. It was sort of the second verse right at the start. That that worked really well. And when you combine that with the great production, the, the, the emphatic delivery during the rap part worked well. The editing in the music video was cool. There was this really cool moment. I use cool way too much as an adjective. Anyway, it just closed off the aspect ratio, which was, it was just such a small thing, but it, it just gave the, the song so much more punch. Actually just gonna give the track a second run through uh, so I can get a, a better feel for the, the production, that sort of thing. So yeah, 
Allons-y de. Yeah. Definitely a bit of a throwback, that intro. Very rattly, actually, that drum beat. I wonder what the tempo is of this track. It feels quite fast paced, but their delivery is quite slow. The sound editing during these portions, like the production is great, but then the layering as well. Really nice. It's a very simple dance, isn't it? Quite effective. I would say the chorus is the least interesting part about the song. Not much to it, lyrically simple. There we go, that aspect ratio switch up. Kind of trappy in delivery. They've even got trap ad libs, bro. on the vocals there. Uh, it works great as an effect. I like the fact that they haven't relied on the same sound that tracks like Boom Boom and Bam had because they were fairly similar tracks in the end. I'm glad they're strayed away from that. Some really good vocal portions there as well. The instrumental here, it's quite... Eclectic's not the right word because there's quite a minimalist layer, layering to it. It's just the slightly metallic sounding synths with their hi-hats just make it kind of claustrophobic at the end I really liked it actually is once again with, with, with a, a Momo Land uh, title track it's it's intense and it it's got so many really strong portions I, I, I at the end I felt it was a little bit over the top it, it there was maybe a few uh, too many things going on there, there weren't many layers there weren't that many like um, you know heavy drums it just felt a little bit metallic and and a little bit in your face but the whole track itself I really enjoyed the music video was great the editing was great like I said that aspect ratio thing does a lot for me it just works but there were some really neat portions of the instrumental so you had those basic rattle drums with those uh, crashing hi-hats but they were they were uh, so fast the hi-hats that usually when you have a hi-hat you just sort of um, you know, d d sprinkle it in there. Here it was like across the board very quick and it was a crashing sound. It wasn't just a, a little tap, it was a crashing hi-hat. They had that staple, I, I guess it was some sort of horn. It didn't really sound like a trumpet unless it was maybe maybe slightly flattened. But anyway, it is, it's a sort of I iconic uh, sound, iconic bit of melody. It worked well, especially the way it was woven into this instrumental. And I, I, I love it when groups do some sample work. I don't think it was the the original sample it was a reworking of it or a remastered version of it and it sounded great i liked it a lot like i said sort of halfway through i'm really glad this wasn't just a rehash of of boom boom because it's it's so tempting 
to just uh, once you've had like one really se successful song it's really tempting to be like well we have to do that again no you've you got to be different you've got to stray away and I think they did uh, the appropriate amount they stayed within a similar genre but completely different style of instrumental and delivery I really liked it that electro pop with, with, with euro dance it, it, it works really well good track and I'm looking forward to more from Momoland so I hope you guys have enjoyed if you did definitely leave a like and a comment suggest for you would watch <laughs> It's so hard to do an outro. I'm tired. I woke up at five o'clock. <laughs> anyway, I, I should just say the outro. You can do it. Just say the outro. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, if you can leave a like and a comment. Suggest if you want to watch in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. And this is going to be Gino <laughs> signing out. See you guys soon. Wonder if you'll dismiss me. Maybe light skin or